to a new video. So in today's video, I'm doing a grunge slash alternative sort of edgy makeup routine. Um, it's kind of turned into my everyday makeup routines and I absolutely love it. So I wanted to share how I do it with you guys. I look like a bit of a sweaty mess right now because it's so hot in the house, even though it's like 7 p.m. So I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit, get up close and personal. <laughs> Okay, so to start with, I'm gonna do my base. Um, I'm gonna start by doing some primer. So I'm using the Revolution Beauty Hydrate Primer and I'm just gonna squirt this all over my face, especially in any dry areas. And then I'm just gonna rub that in with my fingers. Okay, so I don't use foundation. I feel like for a really like grungy sort of look, um, you can kind of embrace the imperfectness of our natural skin because um, you kind of want it to just look messy and like you've just thrown it on. Um, by all means, use foundation if that's what makes you comfortable. Um, but I personally don't and also since it's summer, it's just going to clog up my pores and my skin is just not going to react well. So I'm going to be using just concealer on the areas. I just want to cover up a bit of redness. You could also just totally skip this in general, but um, just do whatever you're comfortable with. Um, but the concealer I'm using is the Instant Age Rewind Multi-Use Concealer Eraser by Maybelline. I love this concealer. So I'm just putting that on any areas. I want to cover up a little bit, which is pretty much my whole face at the moment, but it's so much lighter than using a thick foundation. Now I'm going to spray my beauty blender and just make it wet. Well, not wet, but damp. And then I'm just going to dab that concealer in. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with some translucent powder. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder. This chair keeps squeaking and that's driving me nuts. <laughs> Okay, now I'm going to go in with some bronzer slash contour. I'm um, using my old Urban Decay palette and I'm just dipping in to the brown and I'm going to contour, contour, I'm going to contour the sides of my face. Do a little bit up here, a little bit under my chin and then I'm also going to dip in and contour my nose. So I just do the sides of my nose and then I do a little bit just under just create a little bit of shadow and then lately I've also been adding a little bit under my bottom lip and a little bit on top and I feel like it just makes my lips like more like pouty kind of looking okay now I'm gonna go in with some blush I'm using the Australis show some cheek blush and I'm just adding that to my cheeks you can also add it across the bridge of your nose if you want I know that's really popular at the moment but I just feel like it looks a bit funny on me I just feel like I look sunburned <laughs> So I just added to my cheeks. Okay, and then finally I'm adding some highlighter. I don't know why I just completely forgot the word for that. Um, I'm using my Revolution Roxy palette and just dipping into the highlighter. I also put a little bit above my eyebrows, a little bit on my chin, and a little bit just above my lip. Make sure the nose has good highlighter on it. Okay, I'm just gonna give that a little bit of spray with some setting spray just because it's hot and I don't want to sweat all this hard work off my face. So lately I've also been adding fake freckles. Um, I'm just using an eyeliner pencil. This is by CoverGirl, it's just a brown pencil. Um, I like this one because it's got a sponge on the other end so you can kind of like dab it into your skin. And I'm just gonna start sort of dotting it randomly around my face. Some of them look a bit ridiculous <laughs> when you first dab it on like that one is huge but once you sort of pat them into your skin it blends in a lot better so trust the process <laughs> okay so then i'm just going to tap it in with my finger you can also use a sponge that's on the pencil okay now they look a lot more natural um so i think that's it for my base i'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows i started using an eyebrow pencil um this one's revlon color stay i think it's it's in the shade soft black this is like the darkest one I can find, so if you have black hair like me and you want to do your brow super dark, I recommend this one. So I'm just going to brush them up and then I'm just going to fill them in like normal. Okay, brows are finished. I might put a little bit of clear brow gel in them at the end, but it's over on the floor and... I'd have to move so much stuff to go and get it. So 
That can wait, but brows are pretty much done. Now we're gonna move on to your eyes, which is the fun part. So basically what you'll need is a black eyeshadow. I'm using my little Elizabeth Arden palette just because it's got a good black in it and I don't have to like carry around a huge eyeshadow palette just for a black. So I'm using this one. You'll also need an eyeshadow brush um, that's got kind of like a flat, it doesn't really matter too much if it's curved or straight, but it's like a really flat, thin, brush basically i'm going to pick up some black eyeshadow and i'm going to just draw like a wing as if you were doing eyeliner just like that hopefully you can see that i just start light and then just add a bit more as i go and it doesn't have to be perfect because the whole point is to make it really messy so when i've got some pigment down i'm just kind of like smushing it around <laughs> like just making it really blendy and rough and then i'm also bringing it under my eye as well and then just connecting it um but we're not going to bring it all the way under our eye or all the way on top of our eye if that makes sense i'm only taking it like halfway pretty much okay so we're looking like that then i'm going to take my eyeliner pen i'm using the maybelline hyper easy brush eyeliner and i'm just drawing my usual wing but again only taking it to like halfway across the eye and then as that's drying down i'm just going to grab some more eyeshadow and just blend that out a little bit Okay, so that's how that eye is looking. I'm gonna now do the other eye. Okay, now that I'm happy with that, I'm gonna add some black eyeliner to my waterline. Okay, now I'm gonna add some mascara. My favorite one is the Telescopic Extra Black by L'Oreal Par Paris. Now I think we just need to add lips and then we're finished. So I'm going to line my lips with the Maybelline New York Color Sensational, Color Sensational Lip Liner. Um, I don't know what color this is. Does it say? It's the Nude Whisper color. I also haven't been filling in like my natural Cupid's bow. I've been kind of rounding out my lips. I feel like that's kind of like a trend at the moment. Um, I think it just looks super cute and it's a little bit different to what I've been doing the past few years. So I round out the top of my lips. It's giving me like ego vibes when you round them out. Okay, and then I'm going in with my Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink in the shade Wild Ride. <laughs> okay, and then a final setting spray. And that's the look finished. So this is how it turned out. As I said, I am obsessed with this makeup look. It's super easy. It's really good, especially if you're in a rush because alternative makeup, you can make it just super messy. You don't have to make the lips perfect. You can blend out the edges if you want to. You can make the eyes as smoky and messy as you want. It's just the best look if you just don't want it to be perfect. You just need to quickly put makeup on and I think it looks super cute. So let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. What do you think of the makeup look? Make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I'm posting a lot more over there, especially on TikTok lately. I am so addicted <laughs> to that app. It's actually insane. If you recreate any of the looks I do on my channel, make sure you tag me. As always, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit that thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!